almost 12 years of being held hostage by the FARC, General Luis Mendieta and Colonel Enrique Murillo were finally rescued by the Colombian Army. Hello everyone and welcome to the RCN News in English. I'm Natalia Joao reporting what's happening in Colombia this Sunday evening. The two men who were among the exchangeable FARC prisoners were kidnapped in Mitu in 1998 during a FARC attack to this city. The rescue military operation took place this morning and was led by the Army Special Brigade. Six days ago, they closed in on a FARC camp in a rural zone between Calamar and Milaflores Guaviare after they got a lead that informed them that there were several prisoners being held by the FARC. Come nighttime, the military officials reached the camp and waited silently until morning. When they entered the camp, to the surprise of the guerrillas, the militaries were forced to engage combat but were able to safely rescue General Mendieta and Colonel Luis Enrique Murillo. The combat continued, yet many FARC members managed to escape with another group of prisoners. O sea, mi general, esto lo hicieron al sur de Calamar. This was done in the south of the Calamar region. La, la penetración que habíamos hecho tenía que ser más profunda. That means we still have to continue bigger and further operations in the area. Seems that there are still combats. General Luis Mendieta was kidnapped on September of 1998 during an attack to the police station in Mitu Opes when he was 41 years old. The last contact he had with his family was a phone call with his wife right before the tragedy. RCN had the chance to speak with her this afternoon when she received the good news of her husband's rescue. To my beloved husband, I send all of my love and affection. I have been waiting for him for such a long time, and today is a blessed day for me. I want to take this opportunity to thank the President of Colombia, the members of the public forces, and the Colombian Army, and of course, all of Colombia. Colonel Luis Enrique Murillo was kidnapped along with General Mendieta and 64 other police officers during the FARC attack to Me Too in November 1998. Murillo was the third commander of the group of policemen that were taken by the guerrilla almost 12 years ago. Murillo was forced to see the fate of his companions, such as Colonel Guevara, who died while still being held hostage, or Javier Vianney, who was rescued during the famous Jaque operation. Colonel Murillo has two sons, Leonardo and Sebastián, who he will finally be able to meet now that he is free. Colonel Murillo's family is more than happy now that their beloved father and husband has been rescued. Noticias RCN had the chance to interview them at their home in the Galán neighborhood in South Bogotá. The Murillo family says that the, what has just happened is unbelievable and that they can't wait to hold him in their arms. But also the Murillo family asked Colombians not to forget the other hostages that are still being held captive in the jungle and that it is necessary to work for their freedom. And that's all we have for the moment on the military rescue of FARC hostages, General Luis Mendieta and Colonel Enrique Murillo. Stay tuned for more information on their safe arrival. This is the RCN News in English, bringing Colombia to the world.